this is the hand crank generator that I bought from Amazon for about Canadian dollar 50. It is good for some emergency situation like power failure for several hours to days. For all types of battery charging, this small scale power supply is a big advantage. You can charge your mobile phone, charge your battery bank, charge your flash lamp, and even can charge your car battery. In this video, I will show you how you can utilize this hand crank generator most effectively. This blue box contains a DC generator, a mechanical gearbox, and an electronic circuit. When I spin the handle, this small generator generates electricity. The voltage depends on how fast I spin the handle. At higher speed, voltage can go as high as 20 volts. The electronic circuit regulates the voltage so that it does not go high to damage the device I am charging. On the back side, there is only the handle for cranking the generator. As you can see, the levels on the, this device are all written in Chinese, but present day no problem. You can easily take a photo with your mobile phone and Google Translate. Translator will translate for you. On the opposite side, on the front side, you can see there are two USB connectors, one sliding switch and four terminals. The writing on the handle side tells please Rotate the clockwise, handle clockwise to generate electricity. Connected load should not draw more than 3 amps. Please do not rotate the handle at high speed. I can glue a level written in English on top of this. On the front side or the power connector side, the level tells the faster the Rotational speed, the greater the power generation. The maximum power generation is about 20 watt. The faster the RPM, the higher the voltage at the unregulated output. If the rotational speed is too slow, it will not be able to stabilize the output voltage. And it also tells uh, before using the USB port, adjust the power supply voltage to 5 volt. Below the connector terminals, the level tells highest voltage is available at the unregulated port. I am zooming in the front side or the power connector side. As you can see, there are two USB ports for 5 volt output to charge cell phones or flash lamps. The sliding switch selects the voltage output. On the bottom, there are four terminals, two for the regulator output. You can set the voltage by the sliding switch, 3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt. And the other two terminals are directly connected to the generator output. Therefore, the voltage is unregulated. A cell phone is connected to the USB port for charging and the meter shows that the charging current is little below 300 mm. Instead of charging the cell phone or flash lamp directly, we can charge a high capacity battery or power bank first. With the sand crank generator, later we can charge our cell phone connecting those with the battery bank. This way we can utilize the full power of the generator. I am showing here connecting the generator with the 11.1 volt battery bank. A 
multimeter is connected in series to measure the current and the sliding switch is set at 12 volt. I am now cranking up the generator. You can see the maximum charging current can go as ps one m The average charging current is around 800 m. Detailed analysis of the hand crank generator and how to use its maximum potential is explained in the link below. And here is a glimpse of the slides.